Mongolia. Welcome to the spin of the day. The spin of the day is Mongolia. Mongolians are traditionally a nomadic people. <coughs> that means that they are always moving from place to place depending on the season. That reminds me, Benjamin, where are you? Oh hi, I was practicing being a nomad, wandering around. Actually, it's not that they wander around, they move around from place to place depending on the season. In fact, the capital Ulaanbaatar used to move three times per year. What? How did they move all the buildings? Well, they didn't have all the buildings back then. They had their traditional homes that are called a yurt, or in Mongolia they call it a gear, which they can easily transport with them. Well, that's really interesting. Is that because Ulaanbaatar is considered the coolest city in the world? No, it's because they were normally looking for food and water. Do they bring their pets too? Well, they definitely take their livestock, but they take their pet eagles too. Well, I'd love to have a pet eagle. Do they travel in the desert too? Yes. Well, I know a name of a famous desert. It's called the Gobi Desert, and there's a lot of fish fossils. Why? Did, all the, did the nomads bring fish on their journeys and throw the bones at the car window? Actually, Claire, First of all, they didn't have cars, they had camels and horses. And second of all, the Gobi Desert used to be a big sea. Well, who drank all the water? Claire, no one drank up the water. It, it dried up a long time ago because the, o the moisture from the ocean couldn't get to the Gobi Desert. So what else can you tell me about the Gobi Desert? Well, there are a lot of dinosaur bones there, so there must have been lots of dinosaurs roaming around in that area. You know who else jumps around Mongolia? No, who? The races in the Mongol Rally. What's that? It's a 10,000 mile race from the UK to Mongolia in a car about the size of a lawnmower. Wow, I wonder what it's like to be do that. I know, we have a friend that did that. Let's ask her. Hi, Benjamin and Claire. This is Lola from Lola's Travels, and I'm here in Bali, Indonesia right now. I just completed the Mongol Rally that ended in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, which I understand you're studying up on. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Mongol Rally and something that's pretty cool. Um, I thought, well, we finished number 67 out of 248, and um, about 95% of the people that participate are men, so it was pretty unusual for me as a girl to do it. And the other cool thing was how interested people were all over the world in us and in our car and wanted to sign our car all the time. That's amazing. What was the most surprising thing about Mongolia? Uh, the most surprising thing about Mongolia, well, it wasn't a surprise that the roads were really bumpy, um, and it wasn't a surprise that it was extremely beautiful. There's lots of wide open spaces, but I know you guys learned that the people are nomadic, and they still are. We saw many yurts, and we saw many yurts uh, packed up on camels and making a move, and um, they still have lots of um, goats and camels and wild horses and they travel with their animals as well still. But the most surprising thing I think was um, when we met people, even in the capital, they, a lot of people haven't traveled very far within Mongolia. So I feel like it's pretty special that I got to see so much of it. Well, that's a lot. We have a lot to talk about, but we better stop here. Where our video will be as long as the presidency of the first president, which lasted one day. Well, that's not long for president. Well, it's long for a video. So see you next time on the Spin of the Day. Next time we'll learn about... Vietnam.